One of the things I ask my students to do every once in a while when they go to the movies or when they're watching TV is to notice how often they actually see the actors on screen speaking. And they're always really surprised that they don't see the actors on screen speaking very much at all. What they see is the actors on screen listening and reacting. But this isn't actually a surprise at all. I mean, film and television are reactive medium. They're not medium of speech. Um, radio is a medium of speech. The stage, arguably, is a medium of speech. But film and TV are reactive medium. I mean, think about it this way. For like the first 20 or 30 years that there was film, there wasn't sound. The movies were silent and the stories were told entirely through the faces and the eyes of the actors. Now, just because we have sound doesn't mean that listening and reacting is any less important. It is, in fact, at least 50% of your job. And if you listen poorly in your auditions, the people in the room are going to assume that you are incapable of doing 50% of your job. Now, when I talk about listening, I'm not talking about just picking your head up and staring or that distracted sort of funky listening that we do in real life where we're kind of hearing something but really thinking about something else. I'm talking about deep, connected, and focused listening. The kind that enables you to take in the other person's words and let them penetrate your heart and your mind so that your reactions are pure and powerful and your face is just alive with expression. That's called job getting listening. And it's actually hard to do because it's not the way we normally listen. You know, you, you have to make sure that you make decisions that are really connected so that you want to listen that way. You have to have the confidence to take the time to listen. You actually need a pretty sharp skill set to be able to do this. But should you choose to learn to listen this way, you will have a huge advantage over the other actors walking into the room because most of them are working under the misconception that their audition is entirely about their lines, right? They're going to show the people in the room that they are incapable of doing 50% of their job because they're not going to listen. And you also realize when you explore listening this way and you listen in this really fully invested way that your listening is actually saying much more about you and what you have to offer the role than the words alone ever could. Okay? And at the end of the day, you'll get that job most likely less because of what you said and more about how you listened.